Savannah Crisley appeared on Good Morning America on April 19 to discuss how she felt ahead of Friday's oral arguments in her parents' appeal. Todd and Julie Crisley are in prison after being convicted on federal charges of bank fraud and tax evasion. A former star of Crisley Knows Best, the reality show that showcased the tight-knit family's lavish lifestyle, Savannah discussed her parents' emotional goodbye. I just watched them stand at their bedroom, just hugging and kissing, and not knowing at this point, she said. You just hear 12 and 7. 12 years. 7 years. That's a long time to be away from someone. Savannah has previously discussed her struggles with the situation on social media and on her Unlocked podcast. With her parents reporting to prison in January 2022, Savannah became the legal guardian of her teenage brother Grayson and 11-year-old niece, Chloe. I think I motivate myself with replaying the image of my parents coming home, she told Good Morning America. Both the kids are in therapy every week, she continued. Unfortunately, they have to grow up a lot faster, but I would rather help teach them what's going on in the right way than have the world interject and maybe teach them something that isn't factual. Oral arguments began on Friday and were heard by a three-judge panel of the U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Atlanta. Savannah and her brother Chase were in attendance, the Associated Press reports. Even having the appeal heard was a small victory, the family's attorney, Alex Little, told GMA. It means the judges are taking us seriously. They want to hear from both sides, and they're digging into the record, he said. After the hearing, Savannah told reporters her parents are doing as best they can, per the AP. We all have to come together, and we are closer than ever. Todd and Julie were found guilty of conspiring to defraud community banks through more than $30 million through fraudulent loans. They were further found guilty of tax evasion and conspiring to defraud the IRS. Julie was additionally convicted of wire fraud and obstruction of justice, 